To sit and dream. To sit and read. To sit and learn about the world. Outside our world of here and now. Our problem world. To dream of vast horizons of the soul. Through dreams made whole. Unfettered, free, help me. All you who are dreamers too, help me to make our world anew. I reach out my dreams to you. President Barack Obama knew that even the poorest U.S. communities had the power to become better places to live and work if they were organized with a vision and empowered to make that vision a reality. Twice in the past five years, Cleveland, Ohio has had the dubious distinction of being ranked in national surveys as the poorest city in the United States, to be replaced by New Orleans only after Hurricane Katrina decimated it and to then replace New Orleans the following year. Marion Sterling School grades K through eight serve students who mostly live in low-income housing projects of Cleveland many originally constructed during the 1940s. Initiatives to rescue at-risk students and strategic planning for events and activities that keep students and volunteers engaged are taking form. It looked exciting to me, and then, and then it started, it started getting more and more fun. I had to check mostly like every day to make sure my grades stay just in check, so I can, because I have to remain a 2.0 to compete in the drifting competition. I feel like I can, I can accomplish anything now, and, and anybody who respect to be on the drill team or trying to get on the drill team, I'm, I'll tell them to be prepared. Make sure, make sure their grades are okay. Make sure, uh, make sure they got a lot of friends so they can keep them, keep them straight. And make sure they hang out with the right crowd. I support my team now, and I and I trust more people now. Because when I before I was on the drill team, I had a hard time trusting people. When I got on the drill team, I was like I was I was like a new person. Basically what I do is we use ballroom dancing as the tool for our social development program. It's set up in a very specific way so that we address, we go in expecting them to not want to touch each other. On the first lesson, it's a 50 minute class, they don't end up touching each other on the first day until about 35, 40 minutes in. So we very, it's a very slow process getting there. We don't have permanent partners, we're always changing. So it's about working with everyone. So if you have a problem with so-and-so, three people down, you've got three people to figure it out so that when you get there, you can work as a team and dance together. These dances were very hard. They were very frustrated with some of them in the beginning, but they worked through it. We didn't give up. We finished the program. And now they're ladies and gentlemen, and they carry themselves as ladies and gentlemen. They know how to stand, how to treat each other, not just, you know, grab and, hey, baby, let's dance. But would you have the stance? It's, you know, we, we work on that, escorting gentlemen being gentlemen, ladies being ladies. And in May, we'll be taking 12 students to the competition. So it's a playoff square, and it's a, it's a really big deal this year, so. I signed up for this class because being in the class and down was, was getting boring. We do work all day, and it was fun to learn something new. Like, people just started working together. They became more close to each other and friends and stuff. I learned like the swing, merengue, fox chop, the room, but I learned a lot of dances and I love it. That's the swing.
But no matter how much enthusiasm is generated by opportunities provided for the students to participate in events or to go on field trips, it is tempered by the reality that there is always precious little in available resources. A free offer for students to visit a local wildlife reserve or to see a local arts performance becomes problematic when the question of transportation arises. Meeting a modest financial threshold to bring proven programs into the school often means volunteers digging deeper into their own pockets. That's where you come in. We need you to get involved to help turn things around here in your own city for its children. We need your donations to meet some critical short-term needs. But if you could volunteer to help our kids attain the knowledge and tools to let them thrive, less than a generation from now, more families and communities in our city will be stronger, safer, and more prosperous. It can be a rewarding experience for both volunteer and a deserving child when a personal connection exists. To play a role in a child's development, to spark a curious mind, to let them know that others care can mean a world of difference. Contact us today, make a donation, and volunteer. Together, we can help a child fulfill a life's ambition. We can help a school to become an engine for student ingenuity. We can help a community blossom into an oasis of possibilities. We can renew the ideals of our city and move closer to our creed of one nation, indivisible. Together, we can do it.